What's going on fam? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some head studs. What is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back. Now I am super excited about this because I've been trying to do this for the longest freaking time ever. And it's a very expensive purchase, which is why it took me this long. But I'm really glad this company came out with these uh, head studs because it saved me about 300 bucks for about the same type of head studs that I was trying to get, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead with the unboxing here. Now I'm not sure if you guys heard about this company before, but they're called Innovative Fastener Group. This company that started last year, I believe. I'm not sure about that. Um, they're from Texas. They started making the studs for the Cummings engines. I believe they haven't made any studs for any other platforms yet. Uh, I think Power Stroke is next. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, here we go. We got the uh, instructions here. It's pretty sweet. Bubble wrap. Studs. More studs. Some nuts. And the washers. Oh man, look at all this. Look at all this lube. This is a nice fat pouch right here. That's plenty of lube right there. I like that. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and crack these open. Let's take one out. Why not? That's what that looks like right there. Nah, uh, they look to be a Torx, not an Allen. That's a Torx right there. They look solid. We'll see. because they're supposed to be longer. Okay, so now all these are the same length, unlike the ARP ones where you got the six studs that are longer for the exhaust side. Now this right here says, all 26 studs in our kit are the same length. Continue to verify there's at least one or two threads above the nut during installation on the exhaust side. And it gives you the stud numbers for your installation sequence. Now it says to start them off at 50 foot pounds, then 100, then finally 150. I am doing these one by one. So I'm gonna be doing them, I'm gonna start them, take one out, put one in, torque it to 100, and go from there. Now I got about 140,000 miles on my 5.9, so I'm really hoping for this to go as smooth as possible. I don't really wanna mess my head gasket, you know what I'm saying. So, let's get on with it. All right, so let's go over some of the stuff in the market right now. So you have the ARP 425, which are rated for 200,000 pencil strength. And you can pick them up for about 450 bucks. You have the A1 Tex. Now these right here are rated about 215 pencil strength. And you can pick these up for about 500 bucks. All right, so IFG, 260 pencil strength. Now, when these first came out, they, I think, I believe they came out at $825. Right now, 900 bucks. You got the ARP 625s. Now these are rated at 260 tensile strength. Now these right here, if you're lucky, you can pick them up for about 1200 bucks. Now these right here are the most common. Even though this A1 tech right here 
they're pretty hard to find. All right, so there you go. So if your goal is 650 or less, I would go with ARP 2000s. If your goal is 700 or less, just go with A1 Techs if you can find them. Now, here's the thing. There's a $300 price difference between these two. Now you know ARP 625s, they're known to be good. They've been out for a very long time. So it's pretty much a no-brainer to go with a company that's been out for a very long time versus a company that started out last year. And there's really nothing out there or nobody really testing these. I believe there's one company that made a YouTube video uh, comparing the IFGs with the ARPs and they came out about the same. So, do you want to save yourself 300 bucks and gamble? Or do you want to spend 1200 bucks? I like to gamble, so I went with the IFGs. Now we can't forget about the stock head bolts. And we're just going to label that trash because that's what they are. Straight trash. All right, so you got your stock head bolts at trash. You just want to get rid of those ASAP. ARPs, A1 Tech, IFG, and ARP 625s. Let's get back to the install. First things first, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. All right, now we got to remove the style cover. You got six 10 millimeter bolts in here. Four right, showing right there, and you got two hiding behind there. And then we remove these plugs right there and right there. Take this tubing out of the way. And this one right here. And that should be it. Now the valve cover is off. Next thing is the injector harnesses. Now these are eight millimeter. All right, now next thing is these rockers right here. Now when you take these off, make sure you label them somehow because you want to put these back where you got them from. You know what I mean? So if you don't label them, make sure you put them, you remember where they go. Now you're going to be taking this off from here, it's a 10 millimeter. Alright, we got those off, next thing is this riser right here, and that's going to be about 7 10 millimeter bolts right there on top. So let's get that off real quick. All right, now we gotta remove the head studs. Now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be doing this one by one. You can see them right there. Clean them off so you can see them a little better. And then the ones on the exhaust side are the rusty ones, all right? Now you're gonna need a shop vac that you don't really care about because as you're pulling the studs out, or as, as you're pulling the bolts out to install the studs, you're gonna wanna remove as much oil as possible, okay? You want that cavity to be nice and clean for when you install a new stud in there. Now I'm going to be using this broken torque wrench as a breaker bar to get them off. They are a 18 millimeter. And now I'm going to be using this brand new Icon torque wrench to uh, torque them back up. So that's what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to do number 26 real quick and I'm just going to get after it. Now you're gonna need a T25 to run this down by hand, okay? A T20 works as well, but T25 is best. Now you wanna put lube right here on the coarse end of the stud and then just tighten it down by hand.
don't be shy with this loop though like i was being shy at first trying to be conservative and stuff but there is plenty of loop there all right this is going to be an example of the exhaust side now you want at least one or two threads sticking out of the nut when you're done with it so i'm just gonna run it right there about one so yeah you probably get about one on the first torque maybe by the time you're at 150 maybe you'll get two i'll find out though last one all right let's do it all right i got everything torqued to 110 foot pounds now i'm gonna do 130 and then 150 and then i'll be done with this i mean i still gotta put everything back together but you know what I mean. All right, we're at 150. Now, I'm not gonna put all this back together because there's some other stuff I still wanna install here, but don't forget when you install your rocker arms, those get torqued to 27 foot pounds. Everything here wasn't too bad when I, when I first started torquing them down to 110, I went from the outside in and then for the second torque of 130, I went from the inside out. So I started on number one, all the way to 26. And same thing for 150, I went back to number one and then all the way to 26. Um, the only one that was real pain in the ass was 11, which is right there behind this uh, pipe right there. I don't know if you can see that, that one right there big huge pain in the ass other than that you're gonna get a lot of dust all over from this stuff back here every time you hit that you're gonna get dust everywhere so that's something to be aware of make sure you wipe this stuff as much as you can when you're done on that riser piece on um, the last stuck back there that one right there that one's gonna hit on that little shelf right there so make sure you trim that down so let's trim that down real quick another dremel is not gonna do it Let's see if this is good enough or if I have to take out more material. Don't forget to hit this thing up with compressed air when you're done because you don't want any of that metal inside your engine. Yep, that little bit was good enough. Just sit in there really good. I got my stuff lined up here for tomorrow. 27 foot pounds. Smallest intake, big big one is exhaust. I got them in order, one through six. So far, pretty impressed with the quality on these, like as far as how they look, I guess, because I don't really be able to tell how they perform until something goes wrong, I guess. So, other than that, like plenty of lube. Plenty of lube in the box. Plenty of lube in the box. Uh, for the fasteners. Does, don't forget to readjust your valve lash. I believe it's 10,000 for the intake and 26,000 for the exhaust. So I'll probably be doing video on that in the near future. I got more parts to install tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in and watching my videos. As always, stay safe. 
Cheers.